welcome back to my channel, it's Therese here, and for today's video, I have a hair lightening video, oh my god, I'm so excited, so I'm going to be trying the Directions Hair Lightening Kit, and it is the 40 volume, it retails for $29.95 at Cosmic, so I've got this and I'm excited to try it, so, I'm really scared because I want to do like my roots, because see how my ends are like really orange, I want to do the roots kind of like, do some kind of foil thing, but I don't really know how to do foils, so hopefully it doesn't go white, so if it goes ginger, I'm not really that mad because I'm going to be dying over it anyway. So what it says here is Directions Hair Lightening Kit has been specifically formulated to condition and help protect your hair while you lighten. So this is like kind of like a healthy bleach, if that makes sense. It's vegan and cruelty free as well. So it says, um, fast acting, high lift professional formula with mineral oil to help moisturize the hair during the lightening process. So it's good for you. Um, professional non-drip formula with mineral oil to help moisturize the hair while lightening. Um, there's a moisturizing shampoo as well. And then it also says, like, there's a color chart there of what your hair is going to turn out to be. Then it also says on the side, contents. One bottle of 40 volume cream peroxide. One sachet of powder bleach. One sachet of moisturizing shampoo. One instruction leaf lint. One pair of medium plastic gloves. So if you have small hands like me, you might want your own other gloves. And one mixing tray, one applicator brush, and one development cap. Cool. Normally with bleach you don't really put a cap on, so I guess that's optional depending on what you want. Um, you'll also need an accurate timing device, warm running water, old towels, paper towels, and protective clothing. So I've got an old shirt on as well. And then it says cotton wool bud, Vaseline, and a plastic teaspoon. It's got all the ingredients listed down below for everything. And then it says, before lightening, please take note. If your hair has been previously bleached, lightened, spray lightened, or colored using metallic salt-based products or henna, do not use this product. So my hair hasn't been previously bleached or anything that kind of but I'm not going into those bits I might go in a little bit if I'm feeling fancy but if the ends fall out I'm not too bothered by it pretty much I don't care about my hair but I do like I do hair masks and all that kind of stuff but I'm like if it falls out it falls out well that's what extensions are for come on um everyone should protect the hairline ears at any other sensitive areas with Vaseline before lightening so I'm not going to be putting it on my roots I'm just mainly going in this bulk here so I guess I don't really need to do the option unless I wanted to not to be used on persons under 16 years old just because bleach is dangerous Always carry out a skin sensitivity and hair strand test even if you have used the product on previous occasions. So I'm a rebel and I'm not going to do that, but we will see if it will cause problems because I'm not listening to the box. Um, do not recommend that. I would recommend if you haven't bleached your hair before doing a test, but yeah. Um, this is a single application product as well, so you only use this once. Once you've mixed up the product, that's it. You don't keep it, sort of thing. Um, not recommended for black hair don't know why. May not be suitable for hair, very dark brown hair, always complete a strand test. If you're very thick or longer than shoulder length hair, you may require more than one kit for full application. So I'm not going to be using all of this because I'm not doing my whole head. I'm literally just doing like streaks and foils through. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll open it up. I have dog hair like on me. So, Alright, let's open up this bag for you. Oh, these are like, yeah, it's definitely got a lot of stuff in there. For $29.95, I think there's a pretty good value for money when you're literally getting so much. So this is the powder bleach that we've got there. Then we've got the cream peroxide. I have used this on my friend before and it's really good, like it smells good. Got a wee mixing brush. Oh, this must be our mixing container as well. So then we've got the hair cap the plastic gloves, the mixing container, and we've got the shampoo as well as the instructions here. So, permanent lightening instructions for brown hair. Do they have for all the different hairs, or is that just... It's just for the brown hair, so it's a leaflet that's big. I'll pretty much summarize it. It's pretty much what we watched, really. Um, it says... Yeah, so pretty much you just use what's in the kit, don't add anything to it, don't eat it, that kind of thing, like don't be silly with it. Um, so how you put it in, is put it in and dry here. There's troubleshooting as well, which I think is really cool, and there's remedies to fix it, so that's real cool. Um, I think, I'm like, does it tell you how to mix it? I assume you just mix the, oh, there's more instructions on the back of these. Okay, so... Um, it just says, pretty much it's the same instructions on all of them, don't eat it, don't inhale, don't snort, that kind of thing, don't use on open sores, and I guess we just mix these two together in the little container, and then just have a go on the face, I think, not on the face, on the hair, on the hair, definitely, alright, so I think I'm just going to do it in here, I'm confident I won't get it on the ground, I might, I don't know, let's see how I'm feeling. Okay, so I'm going to get... 
the right stuff that I need in here and I'm going to mix it up. So, so mix all this in here. So what's in here is 75 mils as well. It's not having a strong ammonia smell or anything like that, which is really freaking awesome. So I've also got an old towel down on the ground, just in case. So that is all of it there. So it looks nice, yum. Okay, and then the bleach powder. So I think, oh, it's pretty. It's like pretty and blue. I'm just gonna get my little brush. It's quite weird that it is like blue. It's so weird. Like it doesn't look like, and it hasn't got a strong odor or anything like that. Like it actually smells pretty like good. So I reckon with all the minerals and things like that, like I'm excited to see how it works. Like it's not your normal like violent bleach. So I'm actually really excited to see how it goes. And I'm low key frightened because I literally haven't colored my hair in so long. Like I went to the hairdresser probably like five months ago. That's why I've got all these roots. All right, so I think what I wanna do is, cause obviously I can't see the back of my head. So I thought what I would do is just tie my hair up and then just get all around the edges. So then at least I've got that. And then I can, um, what do you call it? Go from there, I think. All right, so I've got some nice black gloves that fit my hands quite nicely because I wanted to make sure that I had gloves that fit if I'm gonna be doing intricate things like this. So yeah, make sure you're in a bathroom or somewhere that's the ground's covered because bleach does bleach the freaking ground. So I think what I will do is just kinda, just kinda put a few streaks here and there. All my hairs. I wanna go like full, like violent. But it's like Like just a few. I got this right. I won't be using bloody any of the bleach. Kind of, yeah, this is kind of like the effect I was wanting. Just kind of brushing it through lightly. Just kind of like we streaks of it. Oh god, that's probably a huge hunk there. Oh, here you go. And it didn't say this is going to be pretty because my goal is I want to put like colors more into the top and kind of give those a wee go. But I'm interested to see how this will actually lighten and if it's actually going to look okay as well. Okay, so that part is, oh, so I need to do a leg underneath. So I can't really see. I'm just going to hope that it's working out how I want. And there. I don't know. You have to tell me if I'm doing okay. Alright. <laughs> I didn't really organize this very well today. Okay, so then what I'll do is I'll tie up this section. And I'll just kind of... Just put in a little bit onto these parts. It's starting to get a wee strong smell now, but it's not like super horrendous or anything, but it is like a kind of like a light bleach smell, kind of like when you're cleaning.
So it definitely does look lighter at my roots already and then a few of these bits are going quite blonde. So I don't think I will leave it in much longer. But my hair doesn't feel super awful. Some of the bleach is actually starting to flake off in places as it is kind of setting but my hair does look super light compared to when I started. Like I'm seeing it now, it looks super light and the bleach that has gotten on my top has actually like changed color so I'm seeing a lot of the ends it looks very blonder now which I'm actually really liking but I did end up using the whole container because I wanted to make sure that I um, was getting you know using it all up and seeing what I could do so I think definitely for here my length you would need two whole containers if you're wanting to do so you can see it lightning there if you're wanting to do like a full head like I definitely reckon that you would need more than one for that because that isn't even covering my whole head that is just literally just getting some bits a few streaks here and there and just like kind of lightly brushing over the roots to kind of make it a bit even I hope I got all at the back I'm not really super bothered on what it looks like at the back though but the hair that I haven't done feels super yuck <laughs> it probably looks super yuck as well it's like super bushy but I am pretty happy with how it is starting to lighten up but yeah I don't know exactly how long you're actually meant to have it on for I think it's just until your desired look because some like dyes say oh yeah like sorry like disappeared but some dyes are like oh yeah leave on for like 40 minutes and stuff but it's like if it reaches the color you want don't leave it on for longer like that is what I've learned with dyeing my hair yeah it's definitely getting lighter in my roots it's real crazy I'm like he, I hope it doesn't look too bad from behind. I was really nervous about giving it a try myself because I'm like, <sighs> you normally professionals do it, so it, it probably looks like super crazy right now. I'm trying to like show you up close of how you can actually see some of the parts processing and going a lighter kind of gingery shade. Like that's going super blonde in here. Like a super ginge. The stuff on top isn't really going that hard out. But it's not like bad. I think underneath, like in here, it is super going blonde. Like, like yeah, look at this piece. This piece is super blonde. I know I'm touching it without gloves on now. You probably shouldn't do that. But I'm doing that. I'm literally getting bleach all over my fingers. But I'm grotty, so. Yeah, see under there it's going super light as well. So I like the way that it is actually bleaching. It's bleaching at a really nice rate. It's not super going hard out. Like sometimes when you put bleach on, it feels like it's because your head's so hot, it's actually heating the bleach up and making it go faster. So I am keeping an eye on it to see how long I kind of want it on for. I haven't timed it at all. I just kind of want to go to my own flow sort of thing. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see how the shampoo feels and everything like that. But so far, I mean, it's gone on nicely. My head doesn't sting. There's not a super strong smell. There's a slight chemical smell as you're getting into it, but not like a super hard out horrendous smell where I'm like, ooh, that's disgusting, like normal bleaches. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed, and I'm, I like the speed it's lighting. Like, it's not lighting so hard out and freaking me out and being like, oh my god, that's too much, like, lightness. Like, I don't want all that lightness. Like, I'm actually pretty happy with how it's turning out. Well, that bit's super light. Look at this. Okay, we have a wee whitey patch in here. Look at this little white patch here. Ooh, ooh, we don't want a white patch there. I mean. All right, it's literally probably been like four minutes since we last spoke and look at here. I need to go wash this out now because I'm like, oh shit. It's developing too quickly now. So it's kind of like develops real nice and suddenly whoo, go wash your hair. So I'll be right back and I'm gonna go wash this out and use this shampoo as well. I'm excited to see that's like open it up and see. Cause you don't get much. I'm like, I have a lot of freaking hair. Oh, it smells so good. You cannot see it. What color is it? It's like a, it's like a clear. It's kind of, seems nice. I better go wash this out now before my hair burns off. Ooh. All right. I've just washed it out. And if you can remember, this is what it looked like before. And then this is after. So I haven't even seen it yet. So none of it like came out in the shower. So hopefully it is all good. I'm like, I can't see a freaking difference. Where is my little mirror? Okay. Oh, whoa. Yeah, definitely, like, if you see this side here, there is so many, like, blondie streaks through there. Look at that. Like, it all kind of balances to the end. Like how it did, um, 
like it's just kind of blended in with the roots like really nicely. You see there's a nice little blonde patch in there. So it is the next day and you can really see, because now my hair is dry, you can see just how hard out it is spread through. Like you can still see the like normal ginger in there so it hasn't gone like super hard out and taken away from all that which I really like. Like it's done the effect I wanted, like I could have put a bit more over in this section. And it does look a bit choppy, but I am putting dye on it. Like, it does look a bit choppier in this section. But you guys seen how I was applying it. Like, I think considering... I think that... Like, I think considering... I've done a pretty good job for just kind of doing it myself. And all I really wanted to do was lighten those roots. So, I did put some dye in the ends to make it brighter as well. I think that... <laughs> This makes me look younger and I would actually be happy leaving it like this with the blonde bits in there. I think it's really cute, but I am going to be dying over it. So it lightened a heap. You couldn't really tell while it was wet, but I think it looks really, really nice and it's definitely done the job. So I definitely, definitely would recommend it the directions hair dye. Like literally my hair feels so soft. Like it doesn't feel any different, doesn't feel damaged or anything like that. My ends have always felt kind of a bit crappy, so they do feel a bit crappy, but you can see how like luscious it looks doesn't look like i've just put 40 volume bleach in it like i'm very very extremely impressed with this product so if you guys want to try it you can get it for 29.95 at cosmic nz so you can get it there but um yeah i'm like it's i'm definitely going to use it again um just because it's so it feels so safe on my hair like my hair it's like strong like it ain't breaking like, it's gonna rip my skull out like i'm really impressed with its lightning properties, I think it's freaking awesome. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if you have used this product before, but I'm really excited with it and I freaking think it's awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to this and, and don't forget to follow Cosmic on Instagram and say that series sent y'all. So until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.